Hello people of Monkey Series Studios, I was on YouTube and came across one of your videos, upcoming Christian video games in 2021, first of all, very good video, uh, awesome, awesome, awesome stuff he said, and then, uh, now, um, I really like the way you're talking about Christian, so I want to ask you if you could check out the game I'm currently making. Alright, so the game is lost in the storm, here's a quick look at the, the Game Jolt page, there's several different... Tra uh, teaser trailers and so forth. And if I'm not mistaken, this is actually being developed in Unreal Game Engine, which is like the best game engine in the world, by somebody who actually went to Full Sail University, I think, I think I saw in his bio. So it's a single player adventure game with a little bit of mystery in between. You're playing a character named Andrew, a man who currently very lost in his life, who can't seem to remember why, or doesn't seem, doesn't what to remember at all. Uh, yeah, I know what that means. Through the game, you see more and more of Andrew's memories bringing back guilt. Cool. Awesome. Well, mild fantasy violence. I don't know if I can handle that. Let's go ahead and play it. <laughs> yes, I want to get a virus on my computer, Windows. Ah, okay. That's actually a pretty flashy logo. I like that. Generation of light. I told you. See, I told you. Unreal Game Engine. All right, little hurricane thing over there. Where's, all right, here's my cursor. Last in the storm demo. All right, options. What do we have? Options, resolution, quality, high. They don't give me any choices. Music, there's no music. I don't know if it's just my headset. It's, oh, okay, it was just my headset. It was all panned to one side. Okay, I'm gonna take it nice and slow because I want to fully absorb this experience and kind of show you guys what this is looking like and potentially to allow some of you guys to support this if you're interested in it. Yeah, the audio is very, it's very peaceful and I, I like how it sounds. So we're gonna start a new game. Let's see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? A little spinning logo, okay. The ambience is very soothing. Shout out to Epic. <laughs> I lost in a storm. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Press E to continue chat or I can just click next. Oh, uh, okay. WSD mouth. Anna! Anyone! Stop, please! Someone answer me! Okay, it's definitely. This is the second time I see a grammatical error. That's two grammatical er errors in that just one sentence. I mean, it's not a big deal, but like, if you wanted to look posh and professional, definitely gotta work on the grammatical errors. I don't understand. Where did this blizzard come from? I don't, you just woke up in the middle of a blizzard? Yeah, and that's another grammatical error. God, please, anyone, I'm so lost and I don't understand why. How did I end up here? Where even is here? Yeah. I, I don't want to say it a hundred times about the grammar, but like the grammar, punctuation, and wording is just kind of off. Where is that sound coming from? There's sound all around you, bro. And he uses God's name in vain. Not good. I gotta get out of this storm faster. No, please, this can't be happening. All right, that's the end of the game. He dies. It's not a bad start. It'd be cool, like, if they actually get some voice dialogue. Okay, we're inside of a cabin now. Ah! Oh, it was only a dream. I gotta tell Anna about the crazy dream I had. Yeah. Where is Anna? She was next to me last night. I guess she got up already. Let's see if I can find her around the house. So we're Andrew, this dude right here. He looks swag. Can you jump? Interact, you cross objects to highlight, you can interact. So apparently this is being programmed for PlayStation 4 and Xbox. So you pull up your task menu. All right. All right, let's start from the bottom. Oh, wait, I was gonna open all the shells. At least I can open two of them. Let's leave the lamp on because we're irresponsible. Yeah, dancing. Alright, can't interact with that. Can I go to bed? 
shoes. Okay. Not a badly modeled shoe, if I dare say so myself. Why does it only let me look at the right shoe? I feel like they're discriminating against people who like their left shoes more. <laughs> Alright, prologue before the storm. Bruh, this is actually kind of bougie. Anna Love, are you here? Anna? No answer, that's strange. Alright, he's starting to come off as an over, <laughs> over controlling. Or maybe he's just worried about her, I don't know. I guess she's not upstairs. Where is she? Let me check downstairs. It must be his wife. One fruit left. Some, some cloths and a lamp. Cool. What are these random floating particles? I don't know. Alright. Here we go. It's very empty. They must have just moved in. Where could she have gone? It's not like we're back in the city. She normally doesn't leave like this. Plus, she would be too scared to walk out on her own because of getting lost or wild animals. Hmm. Maybe she left a note or something. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I would love to have a cabin like this. If I had a cabin like this, I would be feeling like super, super hot fire. I hear some super hot fire. Where is it? Oh, right here. Hmm? This doesn't look like Anna's cooking. Wonder who's making this? I think your haunt your house is haunted. To be honest, it looks more like my mom's or my grandfather's cooking. Your mom cooks like your grandpa? Nothing in there. Alright, a couple dishes. Alright, gonna leave every are there any more shelves I can just leave open? There we go. Anna will be very annoyed at me when she gets back, but it's worth it because I like it's, it's fun to annoy people. Okay, what's this? Why are all the you don't even have it? What? Uh oh, a dialogue. Why does everything seem so different? Mostly everything is locked up or gone. You don't, yeah, you don't have the keys to your own house. I don't remember our cabin being so vacant. Where's our sofa? Our decoration? Are you just you're just now noticing that? Wait a sec. This isn't Anna and I. Cabin. I'm not even gonna say anything. Where am I? Hmm. Wait, come to think of it, I have a strange feeling that I know this place somehow. Is this my. Nah, it couldn't be. You know what? Just be safe. I'll check outside and get a good look at the cabin. Whoever whoever this is, it's a nice cabin. Yo, even shadows? Even though no one actually suspends around like that. The the fog is getting thicker. Dose, dose that mean I can't? No, 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 no. Remember why you came out here. One thing at a time. Okay, good. You can sprint. Let's explore the cabin real quick. Can I jump? No jumping. Okay. I'm guessing I'm not meant to go around the cabin because it's closed off. How about this side? Nope, this side's not closed off. Oh, but it's out of bounds, okay. This isn't graphically bad. I mean, it's not like PS5 quality graphics, but it's still not bad at all. Okay, let's take a look now. Holy biscuits! No way! How did it end at my parents' old cabin? It's like it states away. It's like states away plus I haven't been there in years. And if that's the case, where's Anna? No wonder she's not here. What happened if she... Okay, man, breathe. Just breathe. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic! Don't panic! No! Let's go back in the house and try to make sense of all this. Plus, make a nice hot cup of tea with milk and figure this out before I pass out. Can I be a rebel and go the opposite direction? What happens? Oh, crud muffin. It's a cute cabin. Oh, I left the door open, and I'm gonna leave it. What on earth? Everything was so empty now, it looks it looks like how it did 12 years ago. My head hurts so much for trying to make sense of things. I think you're just like hallucinating. Were you like doing drugs or something? I feel both very nostalgic and concerned at the same time. 
Maybe if I look around for a bit, I could figure out what's happening. Yeah, something is bound to pop up with some answers. I really hope so. Hey, it's Woodsworth. I remember what dad, he's not made out of wood. Why would you call him Woodsworth? Oh, wait, he is made out, is he made out of wood? Yeah, he is actually. I would cry about every time. After many snowmen failed attempts, dad told me he would help me make a snowman that could last forever. I remember being so happy, so happy. Anyway, let's move on. All right. All the doors are still locked. All right, so here's a sofa. There's no TV in the house, I'm disappointing. I don't remember this painting. It kind of makes me feel uneasy. It's probably not important. Bless. Pixelated looking thing. A photo of a mountain. Of a mountain. Cool, I guess that's how it's supposed to be said. My brother Owen and his wife Chloe. This is one of my mom's favorite angel paintings. Angel Ascending. Dad got it for her as a gift and she loves it. Nice. I remember this. This was the last group picture we took at the cabin. Wow, I can't believe it's been that long. I didn't know I look so young. All right, this is what I want to get to some action. All right, what's up here now? So there is some stuff up here now. Am I supposed to go back to my room? Is my room any different? No, nothing's different here. All right, all the doors are still locked. I now have left, I think, all the doors open. So he said something about making a, well, Check upstairs, rooms checked to to Anna notes, pictures checked. Check collection room. So Anna left some notes. Where is where are my notes? Where'd you put them? I'm looking for them. Haha! -ha, I found one. Alright, there's there was nothing on that, but it's okay. Are there any paintings up here? Hey dad, I hope you're doing all right. You're talking to a painting, I miss you. Sorry that I haven't visited you in a while. Oh, so that's what happened. You haven't visited your dad in a long time and he just like kidnapped you to bring you home. Right, anyway, see you soon dad. Bye, is his dad dead? All right, I need to find one more painting. Oh, here we go. And uh, I remember this day. This is the day. Apparently he wears that same beanie all the time. Well, mostly you, you had a better eye for decorations. I was just the guy holding all the bags and lifting the heavy stuff. Sounds about right. I see so much love and joy in her eyes. What happened to this, to me? No, 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 focus, I'm good, I'm fine. Anna, I may not know what's going on, but I'm going to do my best to get to the bottom of this. I promise, love. All right. Okay. Oh, here we go. Just one more. Ha 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 ha. Hello, Andrew. If the collection room is locked, the key is on the top shelf on the far right of the kitchen from a friend. Please keep this. Please keep it safe. Whatever he said. From a friend. Has someone else been in this house? This is my mom and dad's house. Get out of here. None of my friends know where this place is. Not unless it's a friend I have forgotten about. I'm making no sense right now. You forget about your friends? My head hurts from all this. Let me just check if the key is where this so-called friend told me it would be. I wish you could kind of fast forward the text a little bit. Top shelf? <laughs> Whoa, that's some wonkily textured furniture. Honestly, it just looks like it's glitching. I remember us having a small display room with small trophies and paintings, but this is ridiculous. I guess anything I find while looking around, I'll just put in here for safekeeping. I hope I don't have to backtrack to put things in here that would be very annoying. Let's just hope this room will magically appear everywhere I go. What? Please, God, please. It's Woodstock. Woodsworth, not Woodstock. Woodstock is that guy from Peanuts. Oh my goodness, what are you doing here? Well, at least you're safe in this room. All right, burn him. Let's burn him. You did last forever. Well, buddy, I gotta go keep the room safe. All right, you're... 
All right. Anything else I need to look at? Oh, wait. all right, cool. Cool. All right, now it'll let me back here. Check, find secret hideout. This isn't bad. This is actually a pretty, I think it needs a lot of polishing, but like this is a pretty decent adventure game. Like it's actually kind of pulling me into it. I can't believe these angels are still here. I wish you could fast forward the text though. I really wish you could. He told me, he said, he asked, what are these angels for? They weren't just any angels, they're guardian angels, soldiers, guardian angel soldiers, who fight for God and lead to protect us, just how he fights to protect us too. Then of course I had to ask, how are they supposed to protect us without any weapons? My big brother came in and said, they do have weapons, a mighty sword to slay down. I don't think slay down go together. All the demons and a trusty shield to block all the fire arrows from the enemy trying to attack us. That made me so excited. I was jumping up and down and then ask mom like a broken record if, if we could please give them their sword and shield. Like Pokemon? Dad was laughing. You're mean dad. Stop laughing. Mom gave me a warm and loving smile. Warm and loving smiles are mean. And said of course sweetie. I'm glad you soldiers lasted this long. This is a lot of dialogue. Can I please go on to my adventure? All right. So what's... Is this a top secret hideout? So secret. Here it is, my old hideout, AKA the backyard. Okay, yeah, this dialogue is getting cut. You can't move. It's slow. He talks a lot. Bruh, you talk to yourself like all day long, don't you? So many wonderful memories here. All right. Epic snowball, nice. Let me just go into my top secret hideout. The small adventures I would go on with Anna and my brother, but the most memorable thing here was Anna and I first kiss. <laughs> Talking about ending my last day here with a banger. <laughs> she got caught me off guard, expressed her feelings to me, then kissed me. I couldn't even muster up the courage to tell her myself. At that point, I knew Anna was braver than I was. When it came to sharing feelings, Anna's a boss. Final items on hideout map. What items? Is that one of them? Anna. What do you mean by this? It didn't say anything. What going on here? Why can't I remember? Did something happen between us? I'm not pushing you away, right? I hope not. Well, I guess this confirms that she was here after all. And why does she keep saying after what? She didn't say anything. There must, I'm, I guess I'm supposed to flip the paper over or something. What? Yo, this guy is just, he's tripsy. He is very tripsy right now. Keep everything safe with the angels, cool. Great, great logo. This is the map Anna and I have drawn up. We used to hide stuff all over the yard and I lost stuff all over the yard. Let's just say mom wasn't too happy about hidden and buried toys all over the backyard and it was a very good thing dad was trained at finding things. These were the last things we hid, our most precious treasures. Let's see if I can find them just like how dad did. Let the treasure hunt begin. They do, the person who developed this game managed with like a very simple game to actually make it kind of time absorbing. And that's a good thing to an extent because you want to add duration. So even simple tasks are taking me a, a little bit of time to do. Okay, so this shows where all the stuff is. So there's supposed to be one right behind here. My old sleigh! I'm surprised it still looks good after all these years. I mean, you're basically tripping at this point, so it may, it may not even be real. Okay, please, please, please. Let me just go on with my day. Okay, let's look around a bit more. All right. And there's one out in this corner, I think. A toy train. All right, can I please, please, come on, dialogue, go away, go away, go away. Alright, Anna did something, it didn't bother me much, I thought it was cute, cool. 
And now there's one in the center, right over here around where these angels are. Is that it? That's it. This is the first gift I've ever given Anna. So this was the special treasure she was hiding to protect years ago. I would always ask and she would giggle saying, no, I already knew. If only I knew before. Hmm. It's locked. No worries. I believe I saw the key upstairs in our cabin. I'll just hold on to the box until I make it back over there somehow. Why can't I walk anymore? Anna! That must have been her! Was she inside this whole time? Never mind that she is here now. I gotta go up front and catch her before she leaves. Looks like it's missing part of the roof. Anna! Where you at, Anna? What on earth? One of the fence posts is missing? What are you talking about? Did Anna do this? Fence post? Okay. I thought... Wasn't the key supposed to be in here? Okay. Oh, oh, right here, okay. Whoa. What's going on, bro? Alright, so out of bounds. It's very weird to put an out of bounds mark like in the middle of a wide open place. Yeah, those out of bound marks are kind of weird. Okay, what am I looking for? All right, anyway, so that's a little peek at what's been done so far for this demo. It's I'm actually pretty impressed. It's got a lot of polishing that needs to be done, mainly grammatically, and I really would love to see a feature where you can kind of fast forward the text. I'm actually surprised also to see the developer as a Christian putting some dialogue in there using the Lord's name in vain, which is pretty surprising. I'm hoping that he'll remove that as he continues to polish this game, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of dialogue rewriting. Uh, on the same line, I'd like to see some voice acting. That would be fantastic for this as he gets further into the game. And I did get a little bit confused, especially, I'm, I'm stuck now, I don't even know what to do. It just seems like a good point to end the video. I'll have to talk to the, to the developer because there's no wiki. Seems like the direction and flow of the game could be a little more clear, but like the storytelling is pretty decent. The, co the cabin's really cozy, the story's kind of drawing me into it, it's making me wonder what exactly is going on. So if you guys are interested in, in seeing more video content and seeing me go through this game more, let me know in the comments below. I'm in, in pretty, pretty excited to see what this developer can do in the future as he continues to work on this project. So thank you guys for checking out this video. With that said, be sure to subscribe, don't be a stranger to the channel, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.